Hi Bob, it's Frank Lowry here. I know you can't see me, and that's basically because I'm as good with technology as you are, and I can't figure out how to take a picture of myself on my iPhone, so instead I'm taking a picture of Richard, one of my two dogs, and wishing you happy birthday. You know, many years ago when I articled at Faskins, I recall going on a tour of the firm at the very beginning, and one of the lawyers pointed out in an office of an articling student and he said, you know that guy, he's really, really good. Like he's great on this file he's working on, but he only has one file, that file. And I hadn't realized at that time that that was you. And uh, of course now, since I've been working with you with the cooperators, you worked on one file for us. And uh, you know, I guess that was you as an articling student. And now they've transitioned you to a bigger file for a bigger company. Anyways, I hope you have a, uh, a great birthday. I loved working with you and I still love working with you. I always enjoy having dinner with you. Um, you really are a person of great integrity and a person who I respect. So have a great birthday and I hope that the overall video turns out well. And again, goodbye from Richard and goodbye from uh, the little bird. Hi Bob, it's Jennifer. I understand that you're celebrating a very special birthday this year and I wanted to send you a special birthday wish. I hope you have a wonderful 70th birthday with your family and friends. I've enjoyed working with you over the past seven, eight months and I really look forward to working with you again in the future. So happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day with your family and friends. Hi Daddy, happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying these fantastic tributes that your friends have sent you. I know I certainly have. Um, we've heard some wonderful things about you. Um, mentor, teacher, exceptional lawyer, even fantastic singer. And we knew all of that about you already, but um, there's a few skill sets that have been left out, and they are actually some of my favorites about you. Um, the first is your generosity. If it's with your time, your money, or... Um, your intelligence. You never shy away from helping people. If they've just had a bad day, bad luck, or if you just want to give um, to make someone's life a little bit easier. It's something I admire about you and I, I try to do the same. The other far less serious skill that I love um, is your swimming. It is so hilarious. I love it. I love every time you swim and it only happens very rarely. The lake has to be a very specific degree. It can't be hot and then cold. It must be totally lukewarm. Um, the sounds you make, the goggles you wear, um, it, it brings all of us so much joy to watch you swim. Um, and I remember such a fantastic time in Italy when we all swam together and I I don't remember ever laughing that hard um, because it was just so much fun to be with you um, and swim. And finally, my most favorite thing about my dad are your hugs. Not your regular hugs like, hi, it's nice to see you. Your two-handed, deep bear hug where you bring us into your chest and we bury our heads into you and you kind of purr. Um, I can remember those rare, wonderful hugs as a little girl, and now when I'm lucky enough to see you and even luckier to receive those as an adult, and I find myself doing the same thing with my kids who are calling for me now. Anyway, I love you so very much, Daddy. Happy birthday. Bob, I can't believe you're 70. Congratulations. I want you to know that uh, I hold you in the highest regard. I hope you know that, but uh, I'm, I'm seeing it now for posterity. Um, you have been a great mentor to me. You've taught me a great deal. We've worked together now for over 20 years. Uh, you may remember, I think our first case together was the Del Grande case. That was uh, quite an entertaining case. It last, lasted for quite a while. Uh, I learned a tremendous amount from you at that time, and I have ever since. Um, you really take the time to educate, not only through your words, but also through your example. You are, to me, the epitome of what a good barrister should be. You're utterly devoted to your clients and your cases. You're fearless. 
um, and um, you are creative. Um, I'm only sorry that we didn't get to go to court together on that Jones Brown case, but uh, that was uh, uh, several years of, of working with you, and it was an absolute pleasure. Um, Bob, the firm is very fortunate to have you as its senior litigation partner. I am very fortunate to have you as my partner and my friend, and um, I want to take this opportunity to wish you all the very best. Uh, I am delighted that you are still practicing at the age of 70, and I hope that you continue to do so because, um, you know, you continue to be <clears throat> the senior barrister in the office that, uh, whose, whose advice and counsel uh, we all rely on. Um, words of praise from you count a great deal for me, and um, I want you to know that I appreciate uh, all that you have said to me over the years, and, uh, and I, I really feel with you uh, as if uh, I am a valued colleague, and that means the world to me. So um, uh, the other thing I will say is that I know from all the time that uh, we've spent together how much your family means to you, and I can only say that uh, you must, well, I'm not surprised at what a devoted husband and father and grandfather you are, what your daughters have put together here is uh, quite a tribute, and uh, I hope that you cherish it and never forget it. All the best to you, Bob, and I look forward to seeing you back in the office in the new year. Guys, I have to work. Can you call one of our jun your juniors? Yeah? Hey, yeah, let's call Bob Pearson. That's a great idea. Let's call Bob. Happy birthday, Bob. <laughs> Hi, darling. Happy birthday from the girl you proposed to in Thrifty's parking lot almost oh, 44 years ago. Um, it's been a fantastic life and um, two beautiful, wonderful, accomplished daughters and now four grandchildren. And you've had a terrific career and um, wonderful life together. We're, you're a lucky man and we're very lucky to have you. So here's to lots more years ahead of us. And I uh, hope you have a fantastic birthday. Hello, Bob, and uh, anyone else who may be viewing this video. My name is David Stinson. Well, you know that, Bob, but in case there's someone else who I haven't met who is looking at this video, hello, and uh, happy 70th birthday. You know, it's hard to believe that uh, uh, it's been almost 40 years since we first met. Uh, for those who don't know, Bob and I are former colleagues at Faskins and uh, we met in the mid-1970s. Uh, it really comes as no surprise to me that, Bob, uh, you're still leading a distinguished career there as a leading advocate in Ontario. Uh, you've got many satisfied clients and a wonderful reputation. And I've uh, told you before that if ever I needed good advice, I'd come to you for it. So congratulations on uh, everything, your wonderful family, your terrific career, and uh, your good health. Speaking of health, um, I've been asked to uh, recount an anecdote, if I could remember one, and by far my favorite Bob Harrison anecdote is the appendix attack. And uh, there may be others who have recounted the same story, but uh, it is uh, too good to miss, so here goes. Uh, some many years ago, when uh, uh, Julia and Jennifer were, were still young kids, Bob had a uh, persistent stomach ache, and it uh, carried on uh, for a couple of days and got worse and worse, and to the point where Donna uh, said, you better get to the hospital. So she and the girls took him to the hospital, and they sat out in the emergency room while uh, Bob uh, went into the examining room. And uh, the pain was becoming pretty acute, uh, and uh, frankly, there were classic signs of appendicitis. So as the, uh, the girls were seated, seated out in the uh, uh, waiting room, uh, this great wail and howl of agony came from the examining room. And the booty looked around and said, smilingly, that's my daddy. And so it was. 
Meanwhile, uh, in the examining room, Bob was uh, told by the uh, examining physician that he had the classic signs of appendicitis and that he better undergo emergency surgery or something might go quite wrong. Well, we all know Bob's a bit of a hypochondriac and uh, a skeptical man at the best of times, so to no one's surprise, Bob said, I want a second opinion. Well, uh, I'm not sure whether the second opinion was or was not sought, but uh, happily he underwent the surgery and all turned out well. But uh, Bob, I guess the moral of the story is that uh, perhaps sometimes it's not such a bad idea to follow your gut instinct, instinct and not necessarily look for a second opinion. So all the best to you, dear friend, on this uh, 70th, and it's uh, a delightful opportunity for me and Diana and Kate and James to be able to wish you and your wonderful family uh, all our best. We send our love and congratulations. Cheers. Happy 70th birthday, Bob. It is such a pleasure working with you and learning from you, and I am so fortunate to have had so much opportunity to do so over the past few years. It's always an incredible blast. I wish you so much love and happiness and good health as you enter into this next decade and a wonderful birthday celebration with your family and friends. All the very best.